Okay, we're going to learn to paint this butter, this butterfly, this dragonfly here, dragonfly pattern that I have. So um, I'm starting with charcoal gray. This is the color we're going to use on the body. I'm painting on Bristol board, so my brush is going to get dry fairly quickly. So I will be continually going back for water. We're just going to shape the body. Get smaller and smaller as we go down. Come to a tip and go do the other side. I'm just using a one-liner brush here. Let's get a nice tail there. Fill it in. Okay, I'm going to very quickly come back and put a quick second coat in there. Okay, now I want to take a number six curve flat. I'm going to load warm white on the toe of it. And then we're going to come in and blend this in on the top of each section. Just give it a little highlight. You want to do this while your paint is still wet. Being on Bristol board, Mine's going to dry before I can get all the way down this. But that's okay. Okay, I'll just sum down the tail. That's all there is to the body. It's already got its shading completely done. Um, now we're going to move on to the wings. I'm going to dampen inside the wing just a little bit. I'm going to pick up some Indian turquoise, just a little bit of that on my brush. I'll put some of that in here. And I'm going to go pick up some country blue, put that in here. Now I'm making this a little bit darker than I normally would just so that you can see the two shades of paint on here and the how they blend well together. If I'm painting this on a project, I would make my my uh, paints definitely. I would make them more transparent. But uh, on here, I want you to be able to to see it. Okay. I'm gonna put some water over here. Do one wing at a time here. not being as careful as I would if I was painting this on my project. So I don't think that I am quite this sloppy as a painter normally. Alright, let's put some water in here. A little bit of that turquoise in there. This is a number um, 10 flat here, but this is a, a bigger dragonfly than I normally would be painting, so you would go down to an 8 or a 6 depending on your project. Okay, I'm just very gently kind of blending, blending those in there, getting the two colors happy together. Okay, one last wing. Now, I'd want you to, to remember that if, when you're painting it on your project, you're not going to be using paint this, this thick on here, this heavy. You're going to have washes, and you're going to gently blend those washes together. Okay. Now we're going to get a 10-0 liner. We're going to thin our charcoal paint with some water to inky consistency. We're going to add some antenna on here. We're going to outline the wings. More 
water in my paint. It's not flowing very nicely. That was a little heavy line right there. I'm kind of painting this at an angle so that I can have it the right direction on the camera. So it's not quite the best angle for me. Alright, now we want to start creating. I'm going to have to turn it now. We're going to start creating some of the lines in the wings. So you want to stay up on the tip of the brush and keep these thin and very light touch. It's almost like you're making stained glass within the within the wing itself. Stay up on the very, very tip so you don't get heavy lines. A little bit more water. Paint's starting to, to dry out already. You just be the judge of how your butterfly, or your dra I keep calling a butterfly, how your dragonfly wings will ultimately look. You just want to make sure one of them is, any line that you make is not just floating out in mid-air. They want to all be connected somewhere. Okay. You've got the idea, sloppy as that may be. I do apologize for that. Alright, I'm going to take some of that charcoal, charcoal gray, and I want to shade underneath these two wings, the top wings. Give me a little bit next to the body. Now we're going to highlight on the top wings with some warm white. You could mix a little Indian turquoise with this if, if it was a little bit too bright of a highlight for you. A little bit down here. some ice crystal to those wings. This is Ice Crystal Glamour Dust by DecoArt. Love this product. I think you're going to love it too. We're just going to fill in on the wings. Oh, are you seeing that sparkle on there? Oh, love this stuff. And it comes in all different colors, so if you're painting with a, a particular color that you want to intensify, they've probably got the color for it. I just like the ice crystal because it makes the color that I've already painted just pop a little bit. Okay, that's just one coat on there. Look at that. That is awesome. Another quick little coat on here. That one wasn't quite dry, but you, you would want to make sure that it's dry before you apply your second coat. And you can seal right over this product. Alright, there we go. Our little dragonfly with his sparkly wings.